Nope. Maps. And I'm not talking about the kind of maps that you used to travel. MAPS stands for Minded Attracted Person, which is clearly being rebranded as MAPS to gain more social acceptance. This is such a good example of the past conservative slippery slope argument against gay marriage. If we allow gays to get married, what's next? Having sex with animals? Having sex with children? A lot of us said that it would never happen. And we now have pedophiles trying to attach themselves to the LGBT movement. Gay men specifically for the longest time were thought to actually be pedophiles. Vladimir Putin in 2014 even said that gay people would be safe at the Winter Olympics so as long as they left children alone. Now there has been some fake news around this controversy, but I can assure you that it's very real. Maps are trying to take the progress that our community has made and insert themselves into it. But make no mistake, the LGBT community at large is not for this. We do not accept these types of people whatsoever. Being gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender is not the same thing as being attracted to children. I mean, do I, do I really have to say that? It's 2020 and I have to say that. The reason the definition of lesbian is women attracted to women is because women are adults. Our relationships are consensual. Our sex is consensual. So how the fuck? <laughs> Did we get here? As a lesbian, and I'm sure many other women who date women can relate, we are over-sexualized. And just women in general are over-sexualized. Then we also have gay men who are also hypersexualized. I mean, I guess they mainly hypersexualize themselves. And usually lesbians are just over-sexualized by others, but still, both are over-sexualized, which obviously isn't a bad thing. My entire channel is based on sex. And over the past few years, we have all these other letters being added on. I think the proper acronym right now is lgbtqqia 2 s P -P. And because the acronym has gotten so long, people are now pushing the community to be called Gender and Sexual Orientation Minorities. Hence, yeah, hence. And now our pride parades include all this kink stuff, which not a fan of kink shaming, but still kink doesn't really have anything to do with being LGBT. And at this point, honestly, I feel like the pride parade just makes us all look like a bunch of sexual deviants. Personally, I do not consider pedophilia to be a sexual orientation. Can't believe I have to say that in 2020, but I'm saying it. But I do believe that maps classify themselves that way. Although there are a very small subset of maps or pedophiles that call themselves virtuous pedophiles, which means they are people that don't act on their feelings. Ethan Edwards, who is a co-founder of the group Virtuous Pedophiles, who uses a pseudonym, of course he does, advocates against acceptance of pedophilia and monitors the movements of groups like Nambla Online. He says he hasn't seen any attempts on their end to integrate with the LGBT community. He said, perhaps there is some genuine pedophile somewhere pushing this new rainbow flag. Maybe a few others trying to infiltrate the LGBT community groups by the back door, he says over email. But I I haven't seen any evidence of this in a group setting. Let's look at Twitter to see if this is in fact true. Hashtag map pride, hashtag map positivity, hashtag map rights, hashtag LGBT. People don't pick to be attracted to minors. People don't pick to be attracted to minors. People don't pick to be attracted to minors. The reason same-sex attracted rights went through and got through to society isn't because it's something that we can't help. It's because people realize that there's nothing morally wrong about it. Antis aren't heroes. You aren't a savior for pushing people to suicide just because of their attraction, which they did not choose. Hashtag map pride, hashtag pro map, oh my god, okay. To this, I'll say no, there aren't any people that, you know, deserve death threats or bullying if they are no contact maps, meaning they don't act on their feelings. But I also don't think it's a thing that needs to be celebrated, right? They need help. Very quickly, I just wanna say that this isn't just specifically a thing on Twitter or Tumblr. I've seen TED Talks promoting pedophilia or at least trying to make people not demonize pedophilia anymore. There are also many YouTube videos currently out there where people are trying to normalize pedophilia, so it's not just on Twitter and Tumblr. Either accept all sexual orientations or none. If pedophilia is a mental illness, so is all of LGBT. Hashtag mad pride, blah, blah, blah. They teach you to respect the law and accept your attraction. It doesn't just go away. It has the same characteristics of any LGBT. Open your mind up. Harvard is highly respected and even they understand it. Again, not a sexual orientation. I actually had to look up the term sexual orientation because I wasn't 100% sure that I I was using this the right way, but the APA said that sexual orientation is not a term used in a diagnostic criteria for pedophilic disorder and its use in the DSM-5. Text discussion is an error and should read sexual interest. Since maps think they deserve LGBT rights, I think I found the perfect flag for them. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is an underrated tweet. Can someone give a convincing argument on why maps aren't people and are pedophiles? We aren't. If there are any maps, zoos, or necros who are struggling, I just want you to know that you are loved, you are beautiful, you are valid, you are LGBTQ. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, nobody is saying that you aren't people. Nobody is saying that you deserved to die if you're not actually again, acting on your impulses. No one is saying that you're not worthy of even being helped. What we are saying is that you are not LGBT. We're saying that it is not morally acceptable to creep on children. Like, Jesus, I really, am I really making this video in 2020? Remember that all maps are valid and that AOA, which stands for Age of Attraction, doesn't matter. My AOA is two plus. Share yours in the comments. Hashtag map positive, oh my. Fucking not. I think I need to stop here. I'm gonna vomit because Jesus Christ. Wait a second, look, Jesus found us. Jesus says the LGBT community did not go through hundreds of years of discrimination and prejudice and finally get accepted just for fucking pedos and zoophiles to try and associate with us. You pricks will never have your sick fetishes accepted. And that's where I'm gonna end the video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think there is a difference between a map, a minor attracted person, and a pedophile? Do you think there's a difference between a pedophile and actually being a child molester, somebody who goes through with their compulsions or impulses or feelings, whatever you want to call it. Ugh, this is, I just, I'm done with this video. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm getting disgusted. We are continuing this conversation over on slug.com slash Ariel. We talk about the most controversial issues over there because I don't want you guys to feel like you can't talk and say what you really feel without being criticized. Although I guess we do criticize each other a little bit, but in a nice way. There's also only a few hundred of you on that page. So still I am answering every single post that you guys make to that page. If you start your own thread, I am commenting. Other than that, I will see you guys back here in a few days with a brand new video. Until then, I love you. Love yourselves and get help if you're one of these people, please. Like, I genuinely mean that. It's not a good look for the LGBT community. Just like, just don't.